Hey YouTube, it's Touch for Gone Bad, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to clone yourself. It's not really as complicated as it sounds. All you need is a special little tool called Adobe After Effects. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is take a shot of yourself in one part and then take another shot of yourself in another part. So let's say one dude sitting to the left of the shot and then the other dude sitting to the right of the shot. And the key element here is to make both of the dudes you. So it's going to be two separate shots. And then we're going to edit in Adobe After Effects to make it look like one shot. So there's, it's going to look like there's two of you. So now some tips to this is to keep it well lit, to have at least a decent quality camera, or else it's not going to look too good and it's not going to look too realistic. And another thing is to not move the camera. That's very important. Don't move the camera. So, just to give you guys an idea of what this should look like, let's watch my two video clips. So, here's the first one. It's just me sitting, taking out a stick of gum, and just eating it. Okay, so the next shot is of me again begging for a stick of gum from me. Ironic, isn't it? So I come running into the shot, begging for a piece of gum. And then he doesn't give it to me, so I get all mad. So that's basically it. I didn't put too much thought into that, obviously, as you could tell. And you want to make them around the same uh, uh, amount of time. So you want to make them, for example, both 10 seconds or both a minute or whatever, you want to make them around the same amount of time. So next, you want to double click in your project window and import your both of your um, both of your things into Adobe After Effects, both of your footage. And then you want to select them both again and, and drag them down to your timeline. Press OK to whatever, to whatever pops up. Just wait for it. And there it is. Okay, now so now we have it. So now what you want to do, it's really, really sim simple too. Now you would think it would take a lot of steps, but no, it's super simple. All you have to do is select the top layer and then um, select the rectangle tool. Right here at the top in your tools thing, you should see a tool called the rectangle tool. Just click on that and make sure you have the top layer selected. Then click down from the middle of the two shots click down and just make a little rectangle over the first shot over that guy now as soon as you click down you'll see that the the shot has disappeared the guy has disappeared in your shot so that's why once you go over him you'll see it you'll see what I mean so for example if your guy is to the left of the shot you're gonna want to make a rectangle to the left and all of a sudden you'll see your guy appear if he's to the right you're gonna want to make a rectangle to the right and all of a sudden, you'll see him appear. So in this case, I'm at the left of the shot. So I'm going to make it to the left and let go. And you're done. As simple as that. Now, there are a couple stuff that you could do to improve this. But first, let's watch the video. <clears throat> well, actually, this is taking way too long to render. So I'm just going to give you an idea of what it looks like. As you can see, there's both of me are in the shot. So, but over here, look, my head is cut off. That's very unattractive, you know. So let's fix that. You want to click on the top layer again and choose the pen tool, which is right next to the rectangle tool, and just click on it and just drag. So you want to just like kind of make another thing. You want to drag it. And you want to like resize it, you want to make it bigger, and you want to make sure that both shots fit. So you want to, um, you could you could still use the rectangle tool for this, or you could use the pen tool. You just really want to make sure both shots fit. And there you go. Now both shots, they're not inter interfering with any of them, as you can see. So another thing that could help this is click on uh, click on the mask, which is if you click on the first layer. Or the, or the first uh, footage, the one that you added the mask to, and press M, the mask should pop up. Then you want to select the mask, and then press F. 
then the mask feather should pop up. So you want to feather it a little bit. Now what this does is makes it less noticeable, the place where you cut it right in the middle, where you cut it, it makes it less noticeable for that. So it just kind of like feathers it a little bit, so it kind of fades into each other, so it doesn't make it that noticeable, which is a great feature. So, and that's pretty much it. We're done here, and it's awesome. I mean, come on, I'm cloned. There's two of me. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Use your imagination. You can make something way better. I just didn't put too much thought into this because I just wanted to get the tutorial out there. And that's pretty much it. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.